Hey guys, welcome to Worship Toolbox. Uh, and uh, we'll be chatting about simple, easy, known and loved songs and back pocket songs. But before I jump into that, I really wanted to encourage you. Um, you can upskill yourself as a worship leader, but the most important thing is a hungry heart. Uh, a heart that gazes upon and behold the beauty of Jesus and responds from that place with longing. And, um, and you can upskill and tickle the boxes, but if you lose that, you've lost everything. So may I encourage you on this journey to keep your heart fresh in Jesus. So chatting about simple, easy, known and loved. I've been leading worship for years. Uh, I've learned that keeping it simple um, helps us to go deeper. I don't know how, how and why. It's, it's just something I've seen throughout the years. And I love to encourage worship leaders with this. When you're thinking about a congregation, you want to facilitate connection. You want everyone to cross the line together. You want everyone gathered to have an encounter with the Lord. And, and, and one of the things that I really would like to encourage you with, when you look at your songs, predominantly look at th songs that are easy, simple, known, and loved. Songs you know that when you start the song, the congregation responds extravagantly. I'm thinking like a song, How Great Is Our God, for instance. If you start with How Great Is Our God, I mean, most probably you will have a great time in worship. Or Worthy of It All, or I Exalt Thee. I'm, I'm just throwing out songs, songs that the congregation connects with well. Those are the simple, easy, known, and loved songs. I always encourage worship leaders, and remember, this is pencil lines, because we are a, a, a move that follows the Holy Spirit. And, and so we don't want to put too strong a boundaries around this thing. We go where the Spirit is leading. That's our high value and our great priority. But something I encourage worship leaders with is like when you start a worship set, don't start with an unknown, difficult song. Because a lot of the people in the congregation is not as musical as you. They might struggle to catch melodies quickly. But if you start the service, service with a simple, easy known and loved song that everyone knows, that they love, sometimes it just, it just brings a, a, a great momentum to your time together. When you start with a song that everyone knows and loves, it gives the sound guys time to just set in the mix. It gives the worship team to settle because you don't have to lead that moment. The congregation is almost carrying that moment. And I have found that to be very helpful when I lead. When I work towards my set list, my toolbox, um, I, first two songs, I always think that simple, easy, known, loved. What do the people connect with? And, 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 um, and that's how I start building it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to chat about was back pocket songs. And your back pocket songs, it's simple, easy, known, and loved songs. It's songs that you know your congregation loves singing. And those are the songs that's helpful when you find yourself, you've lost the people, or you, you, you don't know where to go. The elders are unsure, but you know you need momentum. You know you need to, to uh, take this moment somewhere. Instead of carrying on with your song, I, I will take out a back pocket song, um, like Worthy of It All that you know people will love, they respond to that song and it will just unite the people together and from that place I'll move on. So back pocket songs are those songs that you know the church responds to well. The team knows it by heart. You don't have to have court charts in front of you. You don't have to put it on the AV board. What has happened to me in the past many a times where I felt unsure where to go, There's, the elders aren't guiding me. We're kind of in a space where we are unsure or waiting. Many a times I will pull out a back pocket song like Worthy of It All or, or I Exalt Thee. And then because the congregation carries that moment so well, it gives me time to find faith for the moment. And it gives me time to be sensitive and it helps the elders to, to feel and hear where the Lord is going because you're pulling the congregation together. The last thing I wanted to land with is I wanted to encourage you guys, don't feel it believe it. It's impossible to please God without faith. Remember this, when you lead worship and you feel unsure, rather than trying to save the moment, find faith in your heart for that moment. And you will see, minister then from that place. So remember this guys, simple, easy, known, loved. 
and back pocket songs, songs that the congregation responds to well. This will help you in the bigger setting when you come together on Sundays, but it will also be very helpful when you gather together in homes where you don't have AV boards and you don't have charts in front of you and you want to gather people in the living room to, to touch and kiss the face of Jesus. And I hope this is a helpful tool in your hands. Mm -hmm.